Hi there! Welcome to Breaking Limits. I'm dismayed. My name is Martha Kunde Chibanda and I would like to thank you all for being a part of this. So as we get into this, I would like to answer the million dollar question. What is Breaking Limits Undismayed all about? So Breaking Limits Undismayed is simply saying, are you a dreamer? Do you have goals that you want to achieve? Now, you will agree with me, if your answer is yes, you will agree with me that to be able to achieve those goals, to be able to turn your dreams into a reality, it is not a smooth sail on the sea. You're going to encounter some impediments, some hindrances, some obstacles, some limitations here and there. But breaking limits is simply here to re-echo, to re-emphasize, to tell you that it is possible to rise above your limitations. It is possible to become whatever it is that you want to become and rise above your limitations. And there is nothing that is impossible. There is nothing that you cannot do as long as you take away the fear and add the God factor to it. Because come on, everything starts and ends with God. He is the one that empowers us and gives us the tools to be able to be dominant in different spheres of life. So with that said, welcome to Breaking Limits once again. Today's topic is something I'm calling do different. You know, do something different. Do different. Okay, so I have a story that I have to share with you. It's a personal experience. There was a time when I was looking for employment you know after i graduated and you know i i felt like uh my employment had delayed so i'm the type of girl that every time i'm faced with a challenge or rather i'm faced with delay i will quickly shut my door and you know go into warfare right like i will pray about it with a warfare approach so I'll quickly quote my Luke 10 verse 19, you know where God says, I've given you authority to trample upon all scorpions and snakes and nothing shall harm you. So I'll quickly shut my door and do my warfare. So that's how I was going about it. I'm constantly praying to God, <clears throat> asking him to bless me with a job. So I noticed that I kept on praying, but I did not see my desired results. Like I kept on experiencing that delay. So one evening, I sat down to say, what am I going to do? I actually asked God to say, God, what do you want me to do? Because I think I have done all that I know, but I'm not getting the desired results. So suddenly I began to reflect on the promises of God. The promises that God has made for me. So I know some of the promises, but I had to actually Google stuff. So I went on Google and I said, you know what? I'm going to Google all the promises that God has made to me. And I'm going to challenge him by his word since I've tried to do warfare, but it's not working. So I went on Google and I Googled all the promises of God. I wrote them down. I made a commitment to pray the promises of God every morning from the very common scripture that you know. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I alone know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. So this is how I used to do it. I would say, God, this is your word. This is your word. I'm going to challenge you by your word. I'll challenge you with your word. This is your word. You've said that you'll give me a future and a hope. You have prosperous plans for me. As it stands, my life does not look like it has, it, it, it's, it's going good. I cannot see any prosperous plan. Therefore, I need to see the scripture, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I need to see it in my life. I want to be active. I want it to be real. I want to experience it. I want it to be an evidence of this scripture. There's another scripture that I loved, uh, I loved to look at. Isaiah 43 verse 19 to 21. It simply says, Behold, I will do a new thing. 
Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So I would always say, God, this is your word. You say you will make rivers in the desert. Right now, my life, it seems like there's a desert here. And I'm in need of those rivers that you have promised me in your word. I want to experience Isaiah 43. I want to live it. I want to be an evidence of this scripture. Each and every part of my life should be an evidence of this promise that you have made to me. You know, so I constantly prayed the promises of God. There are quite a number. There are a lot of them. If you do not know them, you can just simply go on Google and type promises of God and they will be there. They will come and you will see them. So I constantly prayed these promises, I think for two whole weeks. And I kid you not, I saw the hand of God. Okay? I saw the hand of God. So if you are following me from the beginning, I told you that my approach to things was always warfare. But this time around, I think God just wanted to reintroduce himself to me and show me a different approach, you know, where he says, look, I know you know me as a man of war, the one that fights your battles. But this time around, I want to introduce myself to you as the one who keeps his word, as the one who who never goes back on his word, the God that watches over his word to perform it. Because this is how God showed up for me in this situation. So this is something different. So if I was rigid, you know, if I decided to be rigid and say, no, every time I'm faced with a challenge, I do warfare and I receive my answers, I wouldn't have experienced God in that way i wouldn't have experienced god in a different way right so now when i tell somebody to say god is a man of his word he watches over his words to perform it i'm not saying it from a theoretical point of view not that i've heard people talk about it i've, I've read it somewhere i'm saying it because i have experienced it i have lived it I have felt it. I know what I'm talking about. And because God has revealed himself to me as a man of his word, the one who keeps his word. So what am I trying to say? I'm simply saying, sometimes in order to break limitations or in order to, to be able to rise above whatever limitation that is before you, it is important that you learn to do different have an open mind do not be rigid and this applies to different spheres of life it could be your academics it could be your career it could be your marriage it could be your relationship it could be various aspects various aspects you you do not need to be rigid you have to have an open mind because sometimes God is going to deposit in you like he will tell you to do something away from the normal, away from what you are used to. And that could really be the key to you breaking the limitation that lies before you. With that being said, I hope that you've learned something and you will be able to embrace different. You will be able to, be, to have an open mind and just do different. And I'm so excited because I will see you at the top. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.